what one would expect from mathematics and medicine that these are exact sciences. And yet, despite behind quite familiar with numbers, the math just didn't seem to check out for him. He was still stooning over it and could not find an effective remedy for the various wrongs he had suffered. Probably if he woke up every morning with a bitter taste in his mouth, it was the fault of smoking. Or maybe not, it was something else bitter. He drew from philosophy the awareness that the access to a given resource was a right of all of us and not an exclusivity for a small cycle of people. He understood on his own skin the negative effect of exclusion and so with his own eyes massive benefit grow up for a few assholes. With the writing he had long and satisfying therapy session. He was not very fond of reading but between the page of Alexandre Man books he managed to find comfort and refreshment. His attention span limited him to only reading message, newspaper headlines or short stories. If this added any extra consideration to his interest, then they were worthy of reading. On the threshold of 40, he felt at the chair of life still like a repeater student, now out of course. He had left official school at the age of 16 and sussed his curiosity and thirst for culture slowly, exploring new frontiers with new eyes and touching new experience with his hands. His interest now shifted to taste, intrigued by exotic stories, still virgin lands for him. As adventure companions, he carried with him music and sport. Both transported him to well-known battlefields, satisfying him with a narration of competitive feats. And here that David still gave a battle to Goliath, despite the outcome of meeting was always uncertain, often he saw David come out with his head held high even from a defeat. Thus transmitting to him confidence in old values at a total risk of extinction in modern society. Still grappling with his own self, the most critic and remote part of a human being. In other words, the nature and inspiration of own self the innate talent that every living being carry within. All of these are gifts, capable of elevating an ordinary existence to the real name of life. He looked around, he saw many people strong and aware of this inner drive while others were completely unable even to distinguish and recognize it. He didn't know how psychology would wait 
on the matter, but it would have been an interesting read to see how it treated the subject. In the Animal Kingdom, expression of manifold natures appear free to be, unborned by preconceptions imposed at the birth by others, poor instinct and animalistic intuition for the struggle for survival, a naked vision of reality, nothing more, nothing less. His indol was rustic. Among his passion were strolling, doing nothing in particular, wandering along the path of a lazy vacation day. His favorite path was the one that led him to the wild side of life. A society where exclusion was a fundamental element made him feel cage. How many things were far removed from his ideal world? The unforeseen event and repeated lockdowns that occur during the pandemic saddened him. So, distance cell of set people, the virus capable of extinguishing the flame of a human being forever, without a doubt an atrocious vision of the future, where human spirit and the fine heart were buried, without a tear shed or a defense uttered. Imagine a different world for himself, but time is a tyrant and a gentleman at the same time. He take away and give back to everyone, and at the end of the journey, it blow you out with a breath.